Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got these two identical circles with radius 1 and they are tangent to each other as you can see in this figure. And now we are asked to calculate the area of this shaded triangle ABC. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our very first step. We are going to connect this center N of this circle and this point of tangency. So let's go ahead and connect these points R and N. And here's our nicer looking diagram. Now let's recall tangent to a circle theorem. The angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So therefore in this triangle ARN, the radius RN and this tangent AR are perpendicular to each other. That means they make a 90 degree angle. Now let's focus on this triangle ARN. We know that this is our radius. So this length is going to be 1 and this length AN is going to be 1 plus 1 and plus 1 is going to become 3. So therefore we got AN equal to 3 and RN equal to 1. And since this triangle ARN is a right triangle, so therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's the Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And we know that A N is the longest leg. And always remember the longest leg is always C. This side R N I'm going to call this leg B. And this A R I am going to call leg A and we are going to find the value of this a. And here's our Pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We don't know the value of a so it's going to be a square plus b in our case is 1 square equal to c is 3 square. So a square plus 1 equal to 9. Let's move 1 on the right hand side. So a square is going to become 9 minus 1. a square equal to 8. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides. So we got a equal to square root of 8. And now a could be simplified as 2 times square root of 2 and here's the justification explanation I gave it to you. So thus the length of this leg AR turns out to be 2 times square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a vertical tangent to both of these circles. It's going to look like this one over here. We have to be very careful. So it's going to pass in between these circles and here is our much nicer looking diagram and furthermore this tangent line this vertical tangent line and this diameter these are the one a b they are perpendicular to each other according to this tangent to a circle theorem and here's our next step let's focus on this bigger triangle ARN and we know that this angle is 90 degrees. I'm going to call this angle alpha and this angle beta and we can see that the sum of all these three angles would be 180 degrees and since this angle is 90 degrees that means this alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. 
And now let's focus on this smaller triangle ADC. And we know that this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So then this angle has got to be, this angle is going to be beta. That means the complement of this alpha. So therefore we conclude that our these two triangles ARN and ADC are similar triangles by angle, angle, angle theorem. And here's the angle, angle, angle theorem. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal, then these triangles are said to be similar. And in this next step, let me go ahead and call this line segment CD, the height, I'm going to call it H. And since these two triangles are similar, so we are going to use the proportion. And the proportion is going to look like this thing, RN divided by AR. We are talking about this bigger triangle equals to CD divided by AD. And now we know that RN equals to 1 divided by AR is 2 times square root of 2 equal to CD is H divided by AD is just simply 1 plus 1 is 2. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2. So this 2 and 2 is gone here. 2 and 2 cancels out. So we ended up with H equal to 1 over square root of 2. And here it is our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle ABC. And here's the area of a triangle formula which is equal to a half time base time height. And in our case base is 4 units as you can see 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is going to make 4 and our height is 1 over square root of 2. So the area of this triangle is going to become a half time base is 4 times height is 1 over square root of 2. Let's simplify this one that is going to give us 2 divided by square root of 2. And since we got a radical at the denominator we are supposed to rationalize now. We are going to multiply this same quantity, this one, top and bottom. So that means on the top it is going to become 2 times square root of 2. And when you multiply these two, we are supposed to get 2. So here 2 and 2 is gone. So area turns out to be simply square root of 2. So thus the area of this shaded triangle turns out to be square root of 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.